Good morning, viewer. Be that's your here's the breaking news. Yeah, Iran. Iran on Sunday launched its first ever direct attack on Israel days after an air strike on its embassy in Damascus. The country launched a barrage of drones and missiles towards Israel, risking a major crisis in the Middle East region, which is already under strain due to the war in Gaza. Yeah, the United States, meanwhile, has reaffirmed its ironclad support for Israel's security, going to help the country's defense against threats from Iran. Israel has requested the United Nations Security Council to hold an emergency meeting to condemn Iran's attack. Israel Army spokesperson Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari said Iran launched over 200 drones, ballistic and cruise missiles. He said Israel's defense system intercepted most of the projectiles. A girl was sustained injuries in the attack. A military base has also been damaged. Number two. Iran said the strike was a punishment for Israeli crimes. It was referring to the Damascus consulate attack on April 1st, which killed its seven elite officers, including generals. Israel has neither confirmed nor denied its involvement in the attack. Should the Israeli regime make another mistake, Iran's response will be considerable more severe. The Iranian mission to the United Nations said, Warning the US to stay away, it said the matter should be deemed concluded. Number three, according to reports, US and British warplanes shoot down Israel bound drones over the Iraq Syria border. Jordan shoot drones that violated its airspace. Israel military spokesperson Rear Admiral Daniel Hagri has called the attack a serious escalation. This is a severe and dangerous escalation. Our defensive and offensive capabilities are at the highest level of readiness ahead of this large-scale attack from Iran. He said Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu convened the World Cabinet meeting in Tel Aviv. He later spoke with US President Joe Biden. Number five. Israeli PM Netanyahu said his country had been preparing for a direct attack by Iran and they were ready for any scenario. In recent years and especially in recent weeks, Israel has been preparing for a direct attack by Iran. Our defensive systems are deployed. We are ready for any scenario, both defensively and offensively. The state of Israel is strong. The IDF is strong. The public is strong, he said. Number six. Netanyahu vote to harm whoever harm us. We appreciate the U.S. standing alongside Israel as well as the support of Britain, France and many other countries. We have determined a clear principle. Whoever harms us, we will harm them. We will defend ourselves against any threat and we will do so level-headedly and with determination, he added. Number seven, the United States has vote to help Israel defend against Iran's attack. President Biden has been clear our support for Israel's security is ironclad. While House spokeswoman Adrienne Watson said in a statement, the United States will stand with the people of Israel and support their defense against these threats from Iran. Number eight, Iran's revolutionary guards have confirmed that a drone and missile attacks was underway against Israel. In response to the numerous crimes committed by the Zionist regime, including the attack on the consular section, the Islamic Revolutionary Guard crops fired dozens of missiles and drones at specific targets inside the occupied territories, that means Israel. State television quoted a guard's statement as saying, Iran's defense minister has warned that any country that opens its airspace or territory for attack on Iran by Israel will receive Tehran's firm response. Number nine. British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has condemned Iran. I condemn in the strongest terms the Iranian regime's reckless attack against Israel. This strikes risks inflaming tensions and destabilizing the region. Iran has once again demonstrated that it is intent on sowing chaos in its own backward. The UK will continue to stand up for Israel's security and that of all our region partners, including Jordan and Iraq. Alongside our allies, we are 
urgently working to stabilize the situation and prevent further escalation. No one wants to see more bloodshed, he said. Number 10. Germany, France and the European Union have also condemned Iran's attack. The European Union strongly condemns the unacceptable Iranian attack against Israel. This is an unprecedented escalation and a grip threat to regional security, said European Union Foreign Policy Chief Joseph Borrell. Be the exclusive report.